I know that some girls are like, oh, it's a bit dead. Why are you asking me that? It's not big dick energy. <laughs> no. Hi loves, hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute and I'm sorry. That's all I got to say, I'm sorry. If you got a problem, handcuff me. Take me to the police. <laughs> can we, can we start again? Can we get back together? Can we start over? Please, can you take me back? Can, <laughs> can we fix, can we blend, can we contour? Let me, let me, let me bring you guys in a little bit on some of my goals. Not my serious goals, my rela relationship goals. Do you know what? Let me call them my social goals, my interpersonal goals. Do you know what I mean? Um, number one, number one, I'll just, uh, <laughs> I want to say yes more, but this is a bit of a contradiction because I know me, that like I know myself. You know, when someone asks you on a date, on a date, and you're just like, "Who's this?" No, <laughs> I don't respond to any DMs. I just <laughs> because <laughs> I'm quite an anxious person. I'm very paranoid. Like, so when somebody I don't really know like that either hops in my DMs or if, even if like I know you and like you'll text it be like okay you've got my number but we don't know each other like that then you that oh can i take you out or would you want to go on a date i'm like i'm i'm very scared i literally get anxious i'm like who is this why are you asking me out on a date like, even if it's someone that i do know but it's like we're not really we don't have that we're not doing banter we're not flirting you know i don't understand why men do that by the way don't do that like like just prepare me prep me a few days before at least do a little kick but you know we've not had that kind of flirtatious hickey hack like we're not kicky keying back and forth we're not bantering we're not doing any of that do you know what i mean you're not putting eyes under my pictures <laughs> but out of the blue you want to be like oh i like you or i want to take you out i want to see where this goes i want to get to know you better huh in my head i think something's gone on like i'm literally i cannot believe i'm not wearing any jewelry my god Sorry. Like, in my head, I genuinely feel like, who is sent to you? What have you heard about me? Why have you randomly asked me this? Like, I'm very, I don't like that. Like, I'm, I feel like, I know people want to say, oh, yeah, you build the foundation of friendship. But if you come in and we're doing friends, I don't want to then do romance. I'm sorry. Like, or even if you do want to do romance after friendship, like, you have to let me know. I have to be prepped. Like, do you know what I mean? It's not them people that just go in and kiss you. Why are you kissing me? I'm not gonna lie. Even if I'm not, even if I'm on a date, don't just go ahead and kiss me. I don't like that. I don't like that. I like to be mentally prepped. Like the best kind of like kissy situations is when someone has either told me or asked me. I know some people are like, oh, I don't like it when a guy asks, can I kiss you? I don't mean funny, ask me. Ask me. I'm so paranoid, I'm so shy, I'm so anxious. Like when people have just gone into put I'm that is literally, I don't care if you're on a date, I don't care if we've been flirting. I've got to know, like, what's up? I've got to know that something's coming. I don't, I don't like, <laughs> remove your lips. <laughs> oh God. No, personally, I just like genuinely, you know, it's not even like you have to be like, oh, can I kiss you? You know, a little, give me the, give me the hint and to be honest you can actually just ask but this is personal i know that some girls are like oh it's a bit dead why are you asking me that it's not big dick energy <laughs> no like i actually like the question i like knowing that something is coming um even just past kissing as well i love when like niggas are like can i before you just go and be grabbing my breast or off in my pants <laughs> gesture can i and i will tell you Yes, go ahead. <laughs> you can off the pint. <laughs> I really don't like why people just boom. Who told you you could do that? Do you know what I mean? Like, just because we're kissing, now your hand is in my pint. Why? Who who told you we're progressing that way? Do you know what I mean? Just because we're on a date, boom, you want to put your tongue in my mouth. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, let it be known. It doesn't have to be an explicit question, but let me know something is coming okay so it's the same thing with like even if you're gonna ask me out on a date like don't just but yeah that's my first thing i do want to say yes more to like just things in general i do want to be more social let me tell you obviously we've been in the house and that when we're allowed to go out it's all over for you niggas it's it's actually over for you hoes because <laughs> 
to be honest, I do go out with my friends. Um, it's just like when it comes to guys and shit, I'm just not involved. Don't ask me. I'm not coming. Like the, when I do come. When I do go out with like men romantically, not even romantically, it's it's because I know what I want. Like I know you have something that I want. That's why I come out. Chop life or life is going to chop you. You know, as my people say. So yeah, definitely I want to go out more. I want to say yes more. Um so yeah. Number two. Number two, I want to be more intentional and I wanna like honor my needs and my desires. That's like a big one for me because me. I don't like people a lot. I don't. But when I do, you know, when you're just blind, you just blind. I don't see no more because I like you. I can't see shit. <laughs> um, so I do like the thing with me is I know what I want. I I always say this. Like I've never been in a relationship and people are like, mm, it's not because I'm off fine. Do you get it? That would just cute. It's not because personality is not popping. Do you get it? Like I know who I am, but I know what I want. And a lot of the time, it's like, okay, this person likes you, you like them, you guys are compatible, small. But it's like the real, mm, the, 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 the like really cool, cool things, the really important things, I, I, it's not there. So I'm like, I'm not just going to be with somebody because I like them. And people, in my experience, some men are like, you know, they just, they want me, not, they want you for themselves. I'm like, but you don't really meet the criteria that I'm looking for. So, we can do this, but baby, best believe I'm still <laughs> on the hunt. Do you get what I mean? Um, but even with that said, when I do meet people that I genuinely like and I'm like, oh, you're my person, you're my babe, I tend to, um, how do I say this? I tend to like not necessarily honour my needs and my and my desires. It's like if I know I want A, B, C from this person and they're like, no, nah, I'm not involved, you know, whatever, we got like whatever it is. If they're like, oh, I'm not ready for a relationship or I don't want a relationship like this in the way that you want it. I tend to just be like, oh, it's okay. It's all right. I like you. So I'm still going to be here. And it's like, I want to just get to the point where I'm like, you know what? It's not working for me. I got to go. I can't stay. Like that's, that's what I do. Like, I like him. He's not ready for a relationship, but I'm just going to be here. I'm just going to chill. <laughs> and I don't want to do that. That's not been me or that's not me. That's not my situation. <laughs> it's just there. I tend to have a thing where it's like, oh, okay, I like him. There's this one thing that's very important to me. Just, just the one. And I'm just staying here. I'm like, oh, it's just one. It's okay. I know I'm not going to, you know, I know I'm not going to wife the boy, but I'm just chilling. I'm just having a good time. I just want to be able to like cut it off number three i want to be present like i want to be present in all my relationships like i have this weird thing in my head where sometimes i think that people it's going to sound really weird but sometimes i feel like i'm not enough right so if i'm like hanging out with my friends or just not even hanging out just in my relationship with my friends sometimes i feel like oh i'm not enough like i'm not a good enough person <laughs> to deserve this friendship i use deserve in air quotes because i don't really i hate that word but anyway story for another time yeah so i just feel like sometimes i'm thinking of oh they don't like me i'm thinking oh she's gonna like break up with me at some point or oh she's gonna be mad at me if i did do you know what i mean like i'm thinking about the few the future the thing that hasn't actually happened yet <laughs> the thing that hasn't actually happened yet like if i'm if i'm seeing somebody for example i'm already thinking of all the things that could go wrong like i'm thinking oh mm, two weeks this is gonna be done literally that is actually how i deal with situations like when i meet somebody and i really like them i'm like hmm, okay two weeks this is gonna be over like you know we're we're so into each other right now but i bet you two weeks from now he's gonna tell me he's married two weeks from now he's gonna tell me he's got three kids like two weeks from now he's gonna tell me he's not or whatever the case may be like that's how i think about it in my head i'm always and then two weeks comes okay he's not married i'm thinking oh another two weeks something's gonna happen another two weeks comes nothing happens and i'm just constantly like expecting bad things to happen as opposed to just being with this person just enjoying my little moment and and that's what i want to do i've been doing it so well in the last few months so i'm just really really proud of myself not gonna lie. um so just be present like not trying to be thinking about what's gonna go wrong what could go wrong how am i gonna fuck it up and that's what in the past old timmy old me i'm like oh this is gonna go wrong anyway i'm gonna say some shit to piss you the fuck off um for some reason they don't leave that's one thing that i realized you know men are actually very stupid 
Like, I'm thinking, bitch, I'm trying to sabotage this shit. Why are you still here? Oh, it's okay. I get you. I understand. You don't get me, bro. Fuck off. Like, <laughs> I really enjoyed this. I don't have a lot to say, but um, yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hand it. I'm gonna hand it there. <laughs> Being African, raw. Anyway, I won't change it for anything. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna end it there. It's not really meant to be long. I'm yeah, I'm I'm just hoping that I can put something together for this. But don't forget to like, subscribe, share comment all of that good stuff and i will catch you in my next one come back please i know i've been away but come back okay <laughs> um as always it's cold out here in the streets right is now on valentine's day when i want gifts and bundles you're telling me about capitalism pack it up <laughs>